Josh Draver. Today we are finishing our study through Psalm 23. I have enjoyed going through this psalm with you, and if you, if you haven't already, I would encourage you to memorize this passage. David finishes Psalm 23 with these last two verses where he says, You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. In these last two verses, David changes the image of God from shepherd to host. And as a good host, God provides all that we need. And interestingly enough, David shares that God, as the good host, provides all that we need in the midst of our enemies. In the midst of hardship and turmoil, God provides all that we need, whether it's physical or spiritual. Physical, if someone is blasting you on social media or becoming an enemy of you in person. Spiritual, if the enemy and the forces of darkness are coming after you and you don't know what to do. David's confident enough to say that God will provide all that we need. And with that confidence, we can have joy. I'm reminded of what Jesus said in John 16, where he says, In this world, you will have many trials. You will go through a lot of things. But take joy, for I have overcome the world. We are reminded that no matter what we go through, God is providing for us. God is restoring us and giving us hope and giving us peace and joy and because of that we can have confidence in the hardship verse 6 David's reflecting on God's goodness when he says God's love and goodness will follow him all of his days David isn't just hoping in this he's fully confident that God's love and goodness will be with him why Because in the past, God was faithful to being with David, to providing for David. And David says, I'm looking at the past, and I'm seeing God being faithful, and I'm allowing God's faithfulness in the past to fuel my hope and confidence for my future. And I just wanted to encourage you with these verses to say, let God's faithfulness in your life in the past to provide the fuel for your confidence in the future. God is unchanging. He will be the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we can have full confidence that our shepherd, our host, is providing for us and protecting us and guiding us. He will always provide for you. He will always love you. And his love is overflowing for you. His goodness will follow you all of your days. And this is so beautiful. So as we wrap up Psalm 23, I just want you to know without a doubt that your shepherd is guiding and protecting you and your host, God of hosts of the armies of heaven. He is providing all that you need for your life and he will never let you down. Our God is a good shepherd who loves his flock. So I encourage you to follow the shepherd's voice. Follow the God, listen to what he says and trust that he is providing, protecting, and guarding all that you need. God bless, Ross Traver.